Do you know that 90% of the food Americans eat is grown and distributed by only a few mega corporations? A hundred years ago, everybody was self-sufficient. Everybody had their acres, everybody had a garden, everybody had a cow, everybody had some chickens. They were self-sufficient. Now we live in uh, densely populated areas where everybody relies on things being shipped in, and that's changed the face of agriculture. This film, Heart and Soil, highlights the vitality of farmers in our area who, despite significant challenges, grow or buy their food locally. All of our agriculture right now and all our food is dependent on the transportation, which is dependent on fossil fuels. I think there's definitely risks in that. I'd like to say we have the answers and, and we have all the experts and so forth, but we basically bring people together, putting people in contact with the right people that can either inspire them or instruct them or collaborate with them. These colorful, inspiring creators of our future bear their hearts and souls to get involved in eco-agriculture. I think um, the growing want for farmers markets and the need for people to sort of be connected to their food source, even if they're not growing it, they want to go to the market to talk to the farmers and just feel connected. I come and get food as close to the source as I can that takes it out of the realm of corporate power and into the realm of people taking control of their own lives. As far as farming, you're doing it for just pure selflessness. You're not seeking reward. You're not, I am not doing this because I'm going to make some huge monetary achievements in my life. But I'm doing it just because it's the right thing to do and you know that everything works with you. Having that connection and that respect for the earth, I think, is what's going to be, is what's going to sustain us in the long run. We grow the soil, and the soil grows us. <laughs> Let's grow the soil so the soil can grow us, because a community is like a garden full of earthworms. The more we dig in, the better the planet gets. <laughs>